What is happening, fellow Van Builders? Welcome back to the channel. This is Scott from Van Dingo. It's great to have you with me. Uh, today, I'm working on the bed support system. So I've been on the uh, you know van supply sites uh, looking for bed support systems. I've been on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, all over, and what I'm finding is quite expensive. Um, and I'm you know anywhere from a couple thousand to four thousand dollars just to start with the bed rack mounting system. So I'm thinking, how do I retain this really stable L-Track that's already mounted, not have to rip it off the van wall, and start there as part of the base? Well, I think I got the solve. I got a bed hack. These bed supports are from Ikea. Folks have used these, but I got a way to mount it directly to the L-Track, which I think is gonna work. Let me show you what I'm doing. So these are US Controls L-Track fittings that can receive a bolt and they're a fine thread bolt. I'll share that with you here a little bit later. Um, and so there's two of them side by side. This is simply two inches apart between these two bolts. This is the Svorka bracket that allows the IKEA support to fit down in there. And you know, with some, uh, there's a nylon washer back here and some lock lock washers. I had to custom drill out these holes. These were the three holes that come with it. And lo and behold, it works. I've sat up on it and it works. So this is the product from US Controls. And it just simply goes in here. You pull this back and shift it, right? So that goes in here. I've got another one. I've already cut the bolt off in half because you don't need the full length bolt and it goes on this side there. that's essentially two inches between there and there put the bracket on and away you go I'm telling you it's a bed hack and it works Okay, so to give you a dimensional sense for this, let's do a profile look, All right? I'm on a sloping driveway, but there's the van. And that height and that first one that's installed from subfloor to the bottom of that bed support beam is 24 inches. Plenty of space when I look at the dimensions of the water tank that's gonna go here. So no trouble at all. And then I'm thinking, you know, you've got the height of a mattress that has to go on there and bedding and I think it's going to work perfectly. I've got one assembled. So next I'm going to show you all the components and parts necessary and the steps that you need to take um, to construct this. Let's go to that next. For the IKEA L-Track bed hack you're going to need this from US Controls. That's the bracket you're gonna use. It looks like this when you've got the bolt in it, but you need a bolt cut down, right? Because they only come in one inch through lows. Otherwise you gotta special order these things. So it's a fine thread, three eighths by 24, three eighths, 24 thread count by one. You're basically cutting it in half and you start out here and you're cutting about this much off. And for me, I tried using a hacksaw and it takes a while. This baby works great with a cutoff wheel and that gets you going. I'm in production mode because I'm waiting on a few more of these babies from Amazon. So I'm just cutting these down and getting them ready. About the same amount of time, but the hacksaw left a lot of big burrs on it. 
getting this few of the burrs off. Let's test this out. There we go. Oh, it's a little sideways. I cut these down because I put a nylon washer in here. I put this Savorka furniture bracket in here and then a lock washer. So you need to be able to get it down further and that's gonna work. And that's how it's done. All right, bit of a messy garage workshop here. For this job, I recommend a drill press. This movable gate and that dial mechanism that allows you to move your work product back and forth, it's it's about consistency. So those brackets, if they're, you know, one screw's here and one screw's up here, that bracket's going to sit weird on, uh, on the L-Track. So this really helps with consistency of the cuts and the holes. I suppose you could do it with a regular uh, electric hand drill, but this, this has been a big help. And I'm going to show you the process that I use, uh, to cut those brackets. So here's the score of a bracket, right? And I've got one of the platforms right here and they fit precisely in that, right? This lip right here. And they go right in there like that. So this forms the basis for the bracket that hangs to the L-Track. And the important piece that we're getting handled right now is we need to drill out two inches, two, two inches apart, one hole here and one hole here that'll go into the, um, the bracket that I showed you earlier. So I've, I've lined this up. It's really important to have a drill press, I think, for this exercise. You could do it freehand, um, but I'm gonna show you here. We'll cut into them in a second. sure that is going to fit. So we may need to hone that up a little bit because it needs to fit flush back there. I am going to have a nylon washer in the back, so it's, it's not 100% critical, but Another important reason to get it measured appropriately is there's not a lot of room there between this piece and the area that you're pushing up, actually, in order to get this thing on the L-Track. So it's important that that measurement's correct. And again, it's about two inch, it's not about, it's two inches dead center here and here that happens to be right next to these two dimples. So important to keep the workstation clean. Otherwise you won't have precise cuts. <laughs> Let's move on to the third one. 
Hey gang, as I finish these up, I just wanted to show you these blanks um, I actually got for free from Ikea, believe it or not. And it's because I purchased uh, four of the Scorva crossbeam members and I went to customer service and I said I needed this hardware and I asked for 10 at the time. I actually needed 12. So these were free. They came in about a week from Ikea, which is phenomenal. And then... Um, prior to this whole process, I had ordered these, and this is the exact same Ikea part. I ordered these from Amazon, and these were like 14 bucks for two of them. So there's another big part of the hack, I think, um, as you're working with Ikea on the stuff you purchase. These hardware blanks come for free. All you got to do is give them the quantity, and give them your address, and you're off to the races. All right, hey gang, welcome back. Production mode is done. I'm getting ready to do assembly, but just to give you a sense for it, here is the completed components. And these are the nylon washers that'll go in behind the plates. The plates are all punched out and ready to go with the two holes that are two inches apart. And to lock down the bolts, uh, we're gonna put um, uh, lock washers to lock everything down. So got the production mode done. Next step is to go into assembly mode. All right, let's get this process going. I think we're set here. Okay, here's everything we need. We got disassembled hardware ready to go. The score of a beam there. And uh, let's get started with the uh, assembly process. Okay, let's get a hanger assembled here. These pull out, this mechanism pulls out, allows you to put it in. It's in. That one, of course, is backwards. In. There's some play in there, but that's approximately two inches apart. So now we're going to get our nylon washer. We're going to put our first bolt in. Oops, uh, need to put in our lock washer. Get that started. Next nylon washer goes in the back there. Next bolt plus lock washer. Snug this up. And you see a little, you see movement here, there's no question about it. But once you put the weight on it and mattress down, this is gonna lock. And then we're gonna we're gonna lock the uh, Scorva bed struts to this whole pro apparatus here so we have safe bed mounting. Okay, I loosened these back up again because my recollection 
I loosen these back up again because to get the Scorva piece down into this slot when it's tight, it's a little more difficult to do. So now that that's in there and somewhat loose, I'm gonna put the other side on and then tighten these two up when it's all done. There we go. That makes much more sense. Yeah, oh, that's snug. The bolts are snug. Yeah, it holds the weight. Alrighty, two down, two to go. That's not bad, right? Looks pretty good in there, I think. What do we know about crescent wrenches? They're not precise. Get rid of that turkey. I think this is what we want right here. Five sixteenths. Yeah. Now we're cooking. This is what we're going to use. Hey, good morning, fellow van builders. This is day two on the Ikea Scorva bed hack that attaches into L-Track on Sprinter vans and maybe other vans. <clears throat> and I just as a reminder, I'm a DIYer here. Uh, putting this together for my van, you need to make the decisions for your van and what best uh, works for you. So um, just a little paid political announcement. Um, anyway, today's uh, activity is we're going to uh, attach these final two bed supports. And uh, I'm going to throw a piece of plywood on here so I can give you a visual of what this looks like when it's completed. So let's get after it. All right. I keep saying this, but this Scorva piece, it's amazing how it clips right into the track on this L-Track. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, that's not secure enough to stay on there, I don't believe. For uh, driving around and the various van adventures out in the open wild. So let's get this out of here. Squeeze it down a little bit. Pull back on that. Oops. That one's in. Pull back. Insert it. Slide it to where you want. That's about two inches, as we've shown throughout the video. Act. I'm going to try it this way this time. So see what happens. The two nylon washers. <clears throat> I'm going to attach this bed bracket and then pull it in. And we we ditched the crescent wrench. Done. So they're all set. That's pretty cool. Let's go put the plywood on it. Now this is wafer board and it's crazy heavy, but I'm gonna put birch in here or ah, cut some holes in some birch. Wow, this is cool. It works. The Ikea bed hack works. How about that? There he is. Hi, Keen. On the bed. On the IKEA Scorpa bed hack. 
It's happening, dude. All right. Hey, gang. Thanks for joining me today, uh, yesterday and today. Frankly, it took a couple days for the Sprinter Van L-Track IKEA bed hack. If you like what you're seeing here in this van build, uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. More and more and more videos to come as this project unfolds. So uh, enjoy your van builds. Be good. See you soon. Bye-bye.